bestowing energy, its responsiveness to energy impacts coming from the environment as well as from the inner spiritual man in the subtle body, underlies the entire physical body. In order to be found the seven centers as focal points of reception and of distribution, they are the recipients of seven types of energy, and they distribute these seven energies for the entire little human system. 2. The nervous system and its various interlocking directors. This is a relatively tangible network of energies and forces which are the outer expression of the inner, vital, dynamic network of the etheric body and the millions of nadis for the prototype of the nerves which underlie the more substantial body. These nerves and plexi and their many ramifications are the negative aspects of the positive energies which condition our attention to condition the man. 3. The Endocrine System This is the tangible and exoteric expression of the activity of the vital body and its seven centers. The seven centers of source are to be found in the same region where the seven major glands are located, and each center of force provides, according to the esoteric teaching, the power and the life of the corresponding gland which is, in fact, its externalization. Copyright Copyright 1998 Lucas Trust 86 A Treatise on the Seven Rays Volume 4 Esoteric Healing Centers Glands Head Center Pineal Gland Center Between Eyebrows Pituitary Body Throat Center Thyroid Gland Heart Center Thymus Gland Solar Plexus Center Pancreas Sacral Center The Gonad Center at Basic Spine Adrenal Gland these three systems are very closely related to each other and constitute an interlocking directorate of energies and forces which are essentially vital, galvanic, dynamic and creative. They are basically interdependent, and upon them the entire interior health of the physical organism depends. They are responsive first to one or other of the body's emotional or mental then to the integrated personality and its ray, and finally to the soul ray as it begins to assume control. They are, in reality, responsible for the production of the physical body and, after birth, they condition its psychological quality, and which in its turn produces the developing physical man. They are the agents for the three divine aspects of all manifestation, life quality appearance. 4. The Blood Stream This is the carrier of the life principle and of the combined energies and forces of the three above systems. This will be an idea of the novelty to the orthodox. The relationship of the circulatory system of the blood to the nervous system has not been as yet adequately developed in modern medicine. Much, however, has been done to relate the glandular system to the blood. Only when these four interrelated systems are viewed as one integrated whole and as the four aspects of one vital circulatory system will the truth emerge. Only as they are acknowledged to be the four major distributing agents of the combined rays of the individual man will the true nature of material phenomena be grasped. It might be added here that 1. The etheric vehicle from the circulatory angle is governed by the moon as it fails both and 2. The nervous system is ruled by Venus. 3. The endocrine system is governed by Saturn. 4. The bloodstream is governed by Neptune. These four systems are in reality the manifestation of the four aspects of matter in its lowest or purely physical expression. 
There are other aspects of expression of the fundamental substance, but these are the four of greatest importance. Copyright Copyright 1998 Lucas Trust 87 A Treatise on the Seven Rays Volume 4 Esoteric Healing Each of these is essentially dual, and each duality corresponds to the ray of the soul or of the personality. Each is therefore both positive and negative, each can be described as a unit of resistance force and of dynamic energy, each is a combination of certain aspects of matter and substance, the matter being the relatively static aspect, and the substance the relatively fluid or quality endowing agent. Their interplay, relationship and unified function are an expression of the one life principle, and when they have reached a point of perfected fusion or synthesis or coordinated activity there then appears that, life more abundantly, as if Christ spoken of which we, as yet, know nothing. The four aspects of matter produce the correspondence also to the four divine attributes as well as to the three divine aspects. The analogy of the basic dualism of all manifestation is also preserved, thus making the nine of initiation, the three, the four and the two. This correspondence to the initiatory processes However, in the reverse direction, for it is initiation into the creative third aspect, the matter aspect in the world of intelligent activity. It is not initiation into the second or soul aspect, as is the case with the hierarchical initiations for which the disciple is preparing. It is the initiation of the soul into the experience of physical incarnation, into physical plane existence, and into the art of functioning as a human being. The door into this experience is the gate of cancer. Initiation into the kingdom of God is entered through the gate of Capricorn. These four attributes and the three aspects of matter, plus their dual activity, are the correspondence to the four aspects of the personality and the spiritual triad and their dual active relationship. In this statement is hidden the key to liberation. The seven major centers. It would be of value here if we consider for a moment the nature of the centers themselves, summarizing somewhat the teaching already given in my other books, and so presenting a clear picture of the energy body which underlies the dense physical vehicle. There are many focal points of force within the body, but we shall deal only with the major seven which control in some degree or other all the remaining. In that way we shall not be confused. We shall consider the five centers found upon the spinal column and the two which are found in the head. 1. The head center. This is located at the very top of the head. It is frequently called, 